morning to you and uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us on set. Thank you for keeping us company since we started the show till right now. We really appreciate your company so far so good. Today it's Wednesday, that day when we always get time to look at issues, a lifestyle. We focus on talent, we focus on healthy living and you've been with us all through. You've seen the kind of issues that we talk about on this set every Wednesday morning. So today we celebrate our Kenyan film industry as we seek to find out what are, what are the efforts that have been put so far and what is your role, what is my role in being part of this journey. Just to see to it that we'll get to a point where as an industry we are doing so well, not just locally but internationally. I tell you, we've really grown as my guest this morning will share with us. There's a lot of good things that are happening for upcoming talent out there and also some that are want to be producers. There is just a lot for everybody to be part of and also film is slowly being accepted as a career in this country a lot of insights that we're going to be sharing this morning so why don't you uh, join me as we start the conversation and on social media our handles are open at safin underscore aching the hashtag is uh, good morning kenya so let me introduce my guests for the morning as we will be talking about this particular topic remember the kalasha words 2017 is the theme is the season that we are really really gearing up uh, for that on the 9th of december 2017 so that is also going to inform part of our conversation this morning so uh, thank you so much for joining me let me start with the lady this is uh, Caroline Njoroge the acting CEO Kenya Film Commission thank you so much for joining me this morning and then uh, we have Isaac Isaac uh, is a uh, a film director and of course he's, he's he has been nominated we have we have two nominees in this particular set on this particular set this morning and isaac will be telling us about uh, the feature the best feature that he has done it's it's called dilemma and we'll seek to see uh, more about that and uh, sitting next to him I'm really trying not to call him Johnny this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is Martin Givinji, and he has also been nominated as the best actor for that uh, TV film he has done, Sue and Johnny. So he plays the role of Johnny. He'll tell us more about that. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. And uh, let's paint a picture of Kalasha Awards. And the best place to start is uh, from you, Kate. Probably tell us about Kalasha Awards when somebody here as that what is the significance of having this in our country at such a time okay caroline is my name yeah okay um one kalasha has always been there for quite a long time and that this time we're on the seventh edition and of course we are very excited that it's actually back first of all it's for the industry to be able to reward the industry and tell them pongezi for the good work that you've been doing so this time we have what you're calling the gala nights as mm -hmm. correctly put on yeah. saturday which is the 9th of december we were going to appreciate all our artists but bigger than that is that we have the, what we're calling the Kalasha International Market sometimes in March next year. Of course, we'll delve more into some of the things that you expect to have out of the market. But um, one of the things that we want to say to the fans out there is that thank you so much for being consistent and also being able to just, one, vote for our artist, giving them support. And bigger than that is that also for the industry um, entering your films. We have a record of 237 films mm -hmm. that have been entered this year. Mm -hmm. And so far, in terms of the voting, we have 8,500 Kenyans, you know, voting online for, mm -hmm. peop for people to be able just to get that prize. So mm -hmm. again, we say kudos to the industry and kudos to the fans out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good that you brought out, you know, the number of entries you've received uh, so far, 237. And uh, this is like the highest that you've yes. ever received in the yes. history of Kalasha yeah. Awards. Yeah. Probably what would you attribute to this group? And okay. even the voting, you're uh -huh. talking about the voting patterns online. And uh, compared to the other years, this time around, people are actually psyched up for this. What would you attribute to this? One, I think like you earlier said on, is that um, once uh, we are appreciating the TV and the film industry, people are beginning to see that, wow, I can be able to make a career out of this. So that is one. Then we're also having an industry that is beginning to tell what is our Kenyan stories. And um, so far with the screenings that we've done, we've been able to reach 25 counties with the screenings during the Kalasha period, is that we've seen a lot of interest with people saying, hey, we want to see these stories. We want to hear our own stories. And then we're beginning to see people saying, wait a minute, if um, Joni can be able to be on set, why cannot be, uh, I not be on set? I'm in Nyeri, I'm in Trukana, Nanyuki, that kind of thinking. So again, we attribute that to um, storytelling. But bigger than that, also production has gone up in terms of quality. We are having films like uh, Dilemma, Kidnapped, Katikati, mm. featuring. I mean, when yeah. you look at the quality of films being done, it's 
awesome mm -hmm. and we are grateful for that. So again, technicality, people have gone up, uh, storytelling has gone up, but also just the industry itself has, has begun to say, we have to have a stick on the industry. Mm -hmm. So again, that's that, there's a lot of improvement on that one. Okay. Yeah. It's good that we have them that are actually just hands-on in that. Mm -hmm. uh, probably, Isaac, you can also share with us, if it is indeed true, you've been there, you've seen you know, what is happening, would you say the same? Would you echo what uh, Caroline is telling us this morning? Have we grown? Yes, yes, we've definitely grown uh, from even the technical aspect, um, the know-how, Everything has grown. We, we can say we're actually one of the leading countries mm -hmm. in Africa mm -hmm. in terms of film. And uh, uh, things like Kalasha are things that are way overdue. We, our growth even in terms of Kalasha, in terms of an award mm -hmm. uh, ceremony or gala, uh, we need to even look into that more. But of course we have technicalities in terms of support. Uh, things that I think we'd discuss mm -hmm. uh, going forward. Yes. Tell us about that area that you have decided in this industry. It's a wide place and there's a lot that is being you know, done. Tell us about your, your specific area and why is it that you chose to be to do what you do. There are others who have decided to act, others mm. are editors. And if you see the categories, by the way, and you can go online to start selecting that you know, category that you're voting for and who you want to vote for. But then again, why did you decide to do what you're doing? Uh, well, mine is more of uh, passion and, of course, know-how. Yeah, uh, when you get into this industry, this is a very big industry uh, with a lot of fragmented rules. Mm. Uh, so when you get into this, you get into this with a particular focus. Mm -hmm. You know, this is where you're good at. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's why I, I'm good at scripting and directing. Mm -hmm. And that's my stronghold, mm -hmm. so yeah. Stronghold. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> nice choice of word. You're, it, and you, you, you're looking forward to winning this particular category, best yes. feature. Yes, of course. By a student, that's the category. Yeah, best feature best by a feature student. Best feature by a student. Uh, the yeah. one that you have been nominated for is Dilemma. Dilemma, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also, uh, one of the films that I direct, one of our actors has been nominated, Jala Fivester, so best uh, actor in a comedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, our company has also nominated Keru for best drama. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. so, yeah. Let's talk more uh, yeah. about you, Martin. Yes. We, are, we are going to try not to call you Johnny, because I know <laughs> in other films you've acted so many roles. But then the one that uh, you have been nominated for is uh, that uh, Sue and Johnny. Yes. Tell us a bit about um, Johnny first. Mm. Let's start with there. Mm. Uh, what, tell us about Sue and Johnny and mm. the role that you play. How do you come in? You played alongside Catherine yes. Kamau, yes. the former mother-in-law actress. Yes. yes. Tell us about that particular you know, story. Okay. Uh, Sue and Johnny is a TV show that runs on Maisha Magic. Yeah. We were fortunate enough to be allowed to uh, have the show run on Maisha Magic East uh, last year. We started airing last. We started airing this year. Started shooting last year. Suna Joni is the story of First Sue and Joni, mm -hmm. as uh, the title goes. It's two people for whom circumstances led them together, and uh, I would say so much more about it, but I would rather people just <laughs> go and watch it. Unfortunately, most people ask whether it's available online and mm. whatnot, but no, it's only exclusive to okay. Maisha Magic East. That's on GoTV and or DSTV. Mm -hmm. um, but it's the story of this clueless, very naive, lucky guy mm -hmm. who meets this very street, smart lady. Uh, lady uh -huh. And uh, together with an uh, ensemble of uh, eight other characters mm -hmm. make up this amazing Kenyan story. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a show that I have um, enjoyed re uh, uh, reading mm -hmm. when I'm shooting, written by Abel Motua, mm -hmm. one of the best writers ah, yeah. in Kenya, yeah. directed by um, Philip Karanja mm -hmm. and produced by Philip Productions. Wow. It's uh, an amazing show. That's the much I can say about it right now. Okay. And we are fortunate enough to have all the all the, um, all the, uh, all the um, submissions that we made, which mm -hmm. is for best TV show, TV drama, mm -hmm. and best act and best actress mm -hmm. to be nominated. And uh, we are crossing our fingers and uh, Hoping praying. For the best. Are you yes. excited though? Oh, and yes. And why should people vote? For sure, I am excited. <laughs> You're actually lucky that you have you this morning. First, <laughs> actually, was supposed to be on set. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been, uh, it's, it's been, first of all, it's been a wonderful experience yeah. working on the show. 
um, the the show the show has this kind of energy around it that um, most Kenyans have come to associate with. Mm -hmm. It is very relatable. We use the it's not very deep sheng, mm -hmm. but we use sheng on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, a sheng that people can relate to. Can relate to. Mm -hmm. Kuna sheng ya mukoro kwa njenga, yeah. kuna sheng ya kisumu. <laughs> yeah. Zinapatana mahali zinagongana. Okay. But this is a sheng that people understand. Sometimes watu wanapotea, mm -hmm. but uh, wanapata. Um, so it's, it's so real, and it's something that people can associate with. Um, I was about to say sorry to say, but I'm not going to say sorry, sorry to say. To say. <laughs> but it is the most relatable TV show <laughs> in Kenya right now. Okay. That I will say, okay. hands down. Okay. And um, the again, the energy around the show is what makes it what it has been mm -hmm. so far. And uh, we can only thank God for it. Mm -hmm. It was the brainchild of Catherine Kamau. She's the one who came up with the concept for the show. Mm -hmm. uh, made a few calls, called a number of people. We shot the pilot. Ah, okay. The pilot was shot in 2014, 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. 2015. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the process that most producers dread, hawking, hawking to TV stations, Which trying to get somebody And we were to having that conversation <laughs> earlier with uh, Catherine. Yes. And she was, uh, Caroline, we were, and she, she was sharing, mm -hmm. sharing with us, you know, the market vis-a-vis -vis production. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're coming up with, some, with a product, mm -hmm. What's the process? Mm. What's the end game? You know, and we'll have that conversation as we continue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we were lucky enough to have uh, Maisha Magicist by that time, courtesy of uh, Erika Nyadike, and then forged on by Jackie Anyanzo, mm -hmm. who and uh, Margaret Madore, who just held on to that show, and right now they are unable to release it, mm -hmm. and uh, wow. hopefully it's because uh, it's giving them the ratings that they need for okay. uh, Go TV and DSTV. But uh, we thank God so far. We can only say it's been God, and we thank all the Kenyans for enjoying the show because mm -hmm. without them, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Okay, yes. and congratulations for being nominated. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Catherine is not with us on set. I keep on saying, Catherine, Catherine. <laughs> Big up, wherever you are, we just send you greetings, Catherine Kamau. And uh, it's good also to know that she is actually the, the brains that actually started this particular project. Yes. Wow, so tell us about Dilemma, Isaac. It's also one of the, <coughs> you know, uh, those features that have been nominated. There yeah. are four in number mm. in that category. Talk mm. to us about it. What's the story? Uh, Dilemma is a film that tries to be as Kenyan as possible because uh, that's one of the handicaps that uh, we were suffering as Kenyans to have a film tell a Kenyan story in a Kenyan way. We usually feel the need to drift to a British kind of way of storytelling because mm -hmm. we are storytellers uh, from our culture, mm -hmm. but we tend to shy away from that. Mm -hmm. So Dilemma is just a simple Kenyan story of a Kenyan boy who uh, comes from a Western mm -hmm. and has trouble in Western. He's, 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 he's uh, unfortunate enough to be uh, an orphan. Mm -hmm. Then he comes to Nairobi uh pursuing his talent but in the midst of pursuing his talent he gets corrupted in drug abuse drug peddling so the dilemma is actually a moral dilemma between uh, the the drug peddling and okay. just okay. living a straight life okay yeah. so the dilemma comes in there that kind of a scenario yes. trying to do the right thing and also you're faced with the reality yes. of life yes Wow. Mm. So w that category is called Best Feature by a Student. Yeah. Clarify more. Where uh, does the student uh, part come I, 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 I shot that film when I was a student at the okay. Kenya Film School. Okay, okay. Yeah, I scripted it and directed it then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And yeah. we wish you all the best as well in that. Thank you so and much. And let's talk more about uh, these categories. There's so many of them. And you'd find uh, one film like Sue and Johnny and Katikati, you know, having been nominated in several, several, you know, aspects. Talk to us about those categories, the ones that you can remember. Mm -hmm. And why is it that you're trying to make sure that you cut across in, in several aspects of coming up with a film? What's the significance of that? Okay. Um, one, we've borrowed a lot in terms of the international standards. Yeah. And especially when you look at Oscar in terms of the categories that they normally have, mm -hmm. we've, we've tried to borrow a lot of that, but also tailor make it to the Kenyan industry. And then of course, every other year we've always had conversations as to, oh, TV is receiving a lot of awards, film is receiving a lot of awards, where are the students' categories? So mm. we've tried ah. to have a mishmash of everybody mm -hmm. in, in there. And a total of 34 categories is what we're aiming for. We have, um, of course, TV film, 
like uh, they've correctly put, we also have the students category. We also have Kituo Halisi, you know, in terms of the stations that are actually in line with the local content mm. and then watershed periods are kind of thinking. But the reason why we've narrowed that is that every other year, the Nomination Academy actually meets prior and decides that, okay, fine, there's 34 categories, but uh, the industry trends this year are, are saying what? They're saying this and this and this. So the categories keep changing? They keep on changing, but not quite. Not quite much. Not, okay. not, there's no okay. drastic change. Okay. It's just that how they would turn it around in terms of um, the naming. Mm -hmm. But basically what we, we, we aim to have is that we aim to have film, and we aim to have TV and we aim to have studio, mm -hmm. I mean students, so that at the end of the day we can be able to have an all-round industry in inclusivity. Mm -hmm. But this is all dependent on the academy that actually meets every year. So what happens that three months before is that they come in and then they tell us this is what we've noticed with the industry. Mm -hmm. Therefore award this, remove this, join these two categories, that, that kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. So this year we settled for 34 categories. 34 categories. Yeah. There's lighting, there's editing, yes. there's all actors, that. there's, all there's that. producers. Original score, yeah. everything, everything yeah. is out there. And you know, one thing about this is that, you know, most of the time, the people that get uh, the attention of the public are the ones whose faces we see, <laughs> <laughs> like the Mark likes of Martin. Kina Martin. <laughs> yeah. But then there's a lot of work that comes with, you know, coming up with a particular production. And one thing about this, uh, you know, kind of events and awards is that you get to celebrate even the behind the scenes, the technical aspect of coming up with that particular production. And you mm -hmm. can still go online to vote www.kalashainternational.com. Yes, there you can get the list of all categories and all the nominees, and then you get to select your favorite and vote for them. And this is the time now when I, I ask, how do you vote? And to be specific, how do you vote for Martin? How do you <laughs> vote for, yes. But then generally speaking, uh, probably when one logs onto that particular website, the process, how is it? Uh, um, of course, we are asking you that you give us your um, you know, contacts, mm -hmm. and then bigger than that is that all the people who are nominated are online. So yeah. once you hit the, the website is that you click everything else and then there's online submission. We, we as the commission do not even have any leeway to see how the votes are coming. Mm -hmm. So when we finally say that we've closed the voting period mm -hmm. is that the nomination academy will be handed over Mm -hmm. the results and okay. they they are the ones who are actually going to subject it to the winners of the day mm -hmm. yeah so for us guys it's the academy that deals with it with through and through that. yes yes okay. it's, it's going to be a surprise for us as well okay mm -hmm. yeah. you you still don't know <laughs> still when don't know. when when is it going to be closed um we have the academy meeting tomorrow in uh -huh. our offices uh -huh. so by friday we should have an idea again we don't get the results until that particular saturday Okay. So for us, given the guys that when you're sitting at the, at the, at the gala night, it's, it's a surprise for everybody. You don't know who it's, go it's uh, going to be. We have no absolute mm -hmm. idea. Okay. But then yeah. do we have codes like that guys can use to vote for your specific, you know, uh, nominations? Yeah. Martin? Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, the text message uh, number is 22414. Mm -hmm. um, for, for Suna Juni, mm -hmm. we have W2. W2. For Catherine Kamau Asu, we have uh, R1. So R1. Martin Givenji as Juni, we have Q1. Q1. Yes. Okay, dilemma? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a dilemma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I caught him off that. I was like, wow. ah, what do I say? Dilemma, I how do you think, vote for as, dilemma? As, as, as he was talking, I was trying to think about it. I'm like, oh my God. Oh Which my God, one? Coming next. Uh, I, I really don't know the code. You, you can't remember your code. Yeah, because uh, what I was exposed to uh, was just the online voting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I really don't know the codes that I'll say. But if you <laughs> go, if somebody goes online, they can yes. be able to actually yes. just yes. easily yes. read and find out the steps and how to vote for what, yes. Yeah. Yes. what yes. you yes. want. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the growth. Because for us to be sitting here today and to be talking about, you know, how Kalasha has come so far, they, there has to be some level of effort and some work that has been done behind the scenes. Talk to us, Caroline, mm -hmm. about that particular journey. If you look at where we are, even just say two years ago, and where we are now, how would you rate us, and what would you attribute to that particular growth? Okay, um, maybe I'll speak on two platforms. Mm -hmm. um, I've been fortunate to be on this other side as a producer, and now I s wear this other cap in terms of you know, holding this entity together, mm -hmm. is that um, in terms of growth, we have a lot of um, interest, I must say, especially with the international community. We are beginning to see people, the other day we had the Chinese visiting our offices, we had the Israel embassy visiting offices, mm -hmm. and they're telling us, you know what, um, we'd want to put in 
a lot into the industry, but give us where the standards, tell us who's producing, who's not producing, tell us the content, where is it at? So again, that kind of growth, and especially in terms of interest with stakeholders, is also beginning to gain a lot of strides. Mm -hmm. And then we're also saying that uh, the government is also giving us a lot of uh, push, that uh, it's one of the jubilees manifestos that get people to um, get employment, and bigger than that is that we need to have the incentive package on board, we ha need to have all these things. So again, in terms of also us guys having a stick at policy level, we are beginning to be felt. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good thing, and mm -hmm. I, I keep on saying, um, we will not achieve this in one day. So again, the industry needs to be patient uh, with us. But I can definitely be able to say that there's a lot of goodwill that is coming from the government side, and mm -hmm. which, is a, which is a plus for us guys. Mm -hmm. Then also we have the East African region who are beginning to embrace us and say, hey, we, we want to be part of these stakeholders. Um, the other day we had what you're calling the East African Stu Students Film Festival, and mm -hmm. we had a lot of representation from all these universities across the region. Mm -hmm. And we, we're beginning to say that, hey, it's not just um, Kenyan industry, it's an East African industry. So again, we need to re-strategize and brand ourselves. South Africa has done it. Nollywood has done it. So we need to be the top of the iceberg when mm -hmm. it comes to East Africa. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, lastly, we must again thank all the producers and the directors out there is that content is becoming very amazing. Mm. Um, when I sit down... Is there, the, is there progress, notable progress in terms yes. of the quality even that we come we Yes, come there with. is. Actually, mm. I mean, b between my e many other schedules right now is that I'm able to sneak in and see one or two films that mm. have been nominated and it's, it's amazing quality. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is, yeah. it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, growth has been from the producers, from the directors, from the international stakeholders, and also even us guys as the government. So there's that conversation that is ongoing. Mm -hmm. And we hope that within this goodwill, um, two years down the line, we should be able to have a very different conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's talk about, Martin, let's talk about you know, the growth in terms of the talent that we have, because we can have amazing policies, we can have a very good budget you know, for a production, but then also the talent, you know, comes in handy. Yeah. You've been there, you've worn those shoes, and you've done quite a number of films in our country. Talk to us about the, the growth in terms of, you know, the talent that we have today. Have <coughs> our systems, you know, changed? Do you as actors feel like we are doing something and we are really being appreciated by, by what we do? Okay. Um, interesting enough, I'm going to flip that question around because <laughs> 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 I was listening to it. Um, the the what we have more of is talent. talent. We have more talent yeah. than we have budgets and oh, policies. Oh yeah. so yeah. yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Right. We me. have a wide pool of talent in mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing to. Unfortunately, most people say, which is kind of wrong, but it's, it's it is true to a fact, uh, to a point rather, that most talent comes from problems mm -hmm. because of the things that are happening around you, the exposures to the environment, society, mm -hmm. and uh, challenges in life. It is challenges in life that force people to be innovative and creative. Mm. Creativity brings out talents. Mm -hmm. um, we are have you saying that's not true? It is true to a point. To a, to a it is true extent. to a point, yes. Okay. Because if you listen to the stories of most of the artists who have ended up being comedians, for example, they have a backstory of... Um, poverty, challenges, uh, family problems, mm -hmm. family issues and whatnot, to the point where they are who they are. Who they there are. are some who have uh, lived with a silver spoon, but then they were lucky enough to go to the right places. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, um, um, not to say that she lived with a silver spoon, like Lupita, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she was uh, lucky enough to be at the that right place at the right time. <laughs> I do not know the word obvious. <laughs> obvious is a very we relative did not word. Say that. <laughs> obvious is a very we relative did not word. Say that. She was lucky enough to be at the right place at the right, at the time, right time, know the right people, <laughs> and she is where she is right now. Yeah, so you see, there are extremes on on both ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then, so you can't really say that talent comes from poverty. And talent challenges. talent comes from uh, from a silver spoon. Mm -hmm. You know, so mostly it's just. The environment in Kenya fosters creativity. Mm -hmm. Look at Kenyans on social media. Mm. My friend, mm -hmm. something <laughs> happens <K -O> like <laughs> this. <laughs> KOT is on it and it goes international. You know, True. so it's just and the... And Gideri man. And <laughs> people are just so creative. You, you say it. We have a lot uh, of creative minds. Yes, there's a lot of creative yeah. minds. There are a lot of creative minds in Kenya. And there is a lot of uh, push and drive for by, and, by Kenyans to 
to have their creativity seen and known. And with the social media age right now, we have that platform. So something that also needs to be understood is being talented and witty and fast on your fingers on social media is not exactly the same as coming on set, taking a script and taking a character that is not yourself and making it believable mm -hmm. to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. You see, these are different levels of creativity, different levels of talents. Mm -hmm. But true to it, there is a lot of talent in Kenya. Policies are on their way. And Policies yeah, are on their way. I and wanted to come out because <laughs> 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 there is eh? a lot of talent. Yes. Talent is everywhere. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what inspired you or where it comes from, it could, whether it's poverty or challenges or whether you come from a good background and you know where to go to make sure that your talent is seen out there. But talent, we have it as a country. In terms of policy and, uh, you know, reaching out and support, Talk to us about that, how that has been done exactly. You know, how, how that, that gap has been breached, has been, you know, there's, there's that huge gap between yeah. what you're saying, you're trying to do, mm -hmm. and the, all those amazing, amazing partnerships that are coming up, that are there, and the talent that is there. There's somebody who's watching us in some corner of this country. They are so talented, but then they just end up at, you know, the school level without mm -hmm. even knowing where next after that. Okay. I agree, and when I see the industry giving me the eyes, I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> the hawk is, eyes. Uh, yeah, the hawk <laughs> eyes, yeah. Um, let me just, first of all, probably say that um, we've been so quiet on our end that we haven't really told the industry some of the things that we are up to. But then, again, we also have to be aware of some of the government procedures. You know, government is not, uh, we wake up today and we issue policies it and, and it comes to, to mm -hmm. check, is that there's a lot of mechanisms that run with it. So was and when um, it requires a lot of attention outside our, our, our offices is that we've gone to the right um, ministries and they've given us direction. So what we're just waiting is just one more sign off and then that becomes a reality, especially with the incentive package. If we do get that, then um, I think there will be no need to go and film in South Africa. Everything else will be done here. Mm -hmm. So, and, and again, I'm crossing my fingers. Like I said, I've been on this other side as a producer. Yeah, so true. for me, to get this you policy, in, yeah, to get it in, in check, it would be my first dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then second of all, in terms of talent recognition, everything else, I agree uh, to some extent that uh, there's, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And this came to our attention just the other day when we went out for screenings, you know, people are demanding, you guys, hey, bring us those artists, bring us those actresses, actors, and everything else. We need to see them, we need to hear them, we need to be interacting with them. And of course, we're asking ourselves um, as a strategy, you know, we thought we were going this direction. The people on the ground have told us this way. And uh, what we are supposing to do is that how do we reconnect this conversation so that we can be able to, in, to be in line with what the industry is looking at. And bigger than that is also just the fans out there. What are they demanding? So again, I must admit, we will go back to our books and re-strategize again and see how now do we make sure that the industry, there's a certain percentage of industry is at a certain level. But then there, there are these newcomers who do not seem to have a direction. I mean, so I want a career in film, mm. but where do I start? So again, we want to be the people that join these two, so that now we can, have, we can have that one conversation. And maybe it's not going to happen overnight, but by the time we get to Kalasha market, we should be able to have a lot of that. Um, earlier on, I, I did discuss and say that we have a lot of interest with people coming in for the international um, market. We have a lot of embassies telling us that we can bring you directors, producers mm -hmm. from outside mm -hmm. so that they can interact with the filmmakers internally. And again, I keep on saying the more we aim for co-productions, the more everything else grows. So that should be one of our strategies, but then locally, we should be able to put in a lot of frameworks mm -hmm. to, to, to put in these two people together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Because yeah. film is such an amazing it opportunity. Is, is, and in a country <coughs> where we are talking about jobs being a challenge mm -hmm. the only safest place you can ever be is your talent mm -hmm. you can just go back to that thing that you do best and it can actually just be your breakthrough it's there are true. people who are paying their bills by just this one of them is sitting next to me here <laughs> can you tell them how much you're earning <laughs> please do uh, you would uh, i'd be surprised <laughs> if you knew <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> but then, um, you know, tell us, your, both of you decided that this is what you want to do when you focused on this. You even went to school to do that. You changed your course from something to something. <laughs> you, you know me too much. <laughs> you know you know, were doing much. sociology and maths and you decided, uh -uh, <laughs> this is not what I want. I want to do film. Mm -hmm. I want to do theater. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to that young person who is watching, and even parents who still believe that, you know, film, mm -mm. Mm. you need to be an engineer or a doctor or something. Mm. Mm. Acting and all that, maybe some people just see it as part time. Okay. Talk to the country this morning. What drove you to decide <laughs> that this is it? And is it, is it a career, mm. really, for somebody to understand out there? Okay. Martin. So I'll go back to a question that uh, very many people, I'll call it, out of ignorance, mm -hmm. ask. Mm -hmm. Other than acting, mm. what, what else, else do you do? 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 Yeah. Yes. I'm so glad I did ask that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I, I say, I personally and uh, very many other actors who are part of the Kenya Actors Guild, for which I serve as the executive mm -hmm. director, mm -hmm. uh, term that as an ignorant question. Okay. Um, but the best way I have... Uh, had to pull myself and answer that question without <laughs> uh, throwing a chair. <laughs> is um, <laughs> if I'm not acting, I am directing actors. I am writing for actors. Is this all in the same circle? So yeah. my life revolves around the performing mm -hmm. arts as an mm -hmm. actor. Um, I have been in this industry. Well. Let me call it a scene because we are yet to be an industry. I say that carefully because <laughs> an industry have should be very nicely written. <laughs> Kenya film industry. Yes, what I see you that. Saying? I see that. Yeah? I see that. It, that's, that's vision 2030. You know, that's vision 2030 Amen right there. That. It's. I'll, I'll call it a film scene because, um, from what I understand from an industry, it should be self-sufficient, self-providing, self-sustaining. Uh, so far, we have a Let lot of money. Let me get something clear before you continue. Uh -huh. You're trying to paint a picture mm. of why people still don't take this as serious yes. as they yes. should. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, that's important. That's my path. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, I call it a film scene because so far we are still at a place where a lot of money comes or goes into film and TV production, but then it goes out to other things. Mm -hmm. It does not come back to TV and film. Mm -hmm. You invest in a film, you get money, you go and buy a house. Mm. It's not coming back. Mm -hmm. That's taking it from film and to taking it to easy. real estate. Mm -hmm. It's not coming back. Okay. If and when it comes back and builds itself as it is in Hollywood right now, then I would call it mm -hmm. an industry. But so far it's a scene and it's growing. I cannot equate what it was when I joined it in uh, 2004 to now. And because I know my mom is watching mm. it right now, mm. she remembers the fight that we had. The day I told her, yeah, so I'm going to theater because mm. <laughs> that, is where most, that, is, that is where that is where not, uh, that, is, that is where most uh, of the actors and uh, directors have come from so far. Others who have also <coughs> just gone straight into mm -hmm. TV mm -hmm. other than going through theater. Um, it was a very big fight mm -hmm. between my parent and I. And that Telling is the story her. of so many young mm. people yes, watching yes, at this morning. Yes. And Caroline, you're sharing with me how, according to you, there is that uptake of people starting to appreciate, you know, film as a career, acting as a career, and all those things that happen in that particular industry as a career. I'll come back to you shortly, but then Isaac. Yes. As a director and as a scriptwriter, and uh, have you also had, you know, the same struggles like Martin had? Um, yours was just an easy path. No, it, it's... <laughs> Do people still ask as you, like, really, you're, you're a script writer? As long as you're in this industry, I mean, in this scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not an industry. <laughs> so should we change that? No, oh, sorry. <laughs> as, long as, as long as you're in this scene, that's mm -hmm. a question that uh, you'll always battle with, whatever capacity, in whatever capacity, because uh, most of our jobs are seasonal. Most of our jobs are not constant. It's not a permanent mm -hmm. and pensionable kind okay. of job. Yes. Okay. So uh, this gig, someone will look at you as someone who's not un who's unstable in life. You don't really know what you're doing. You don't really know where you're heading. That's why people tend to ask you, OK, apart from this, what's your security? Apart from this, what, what next? What, how do you see your life in 10 years or in five years. years to come? Mm -hmm. And then there's this thing with film. Uh, all of us are draggies, all of us. Uh, uh, are junkies. So mm -hmm. you're coming into an industry which has a lot of stigma uh, in terms of career, in terms of uh, 
uh, morality and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's hard. It's, it's really tough, mm -hmm. especially in this country. But uh, the stigma is reducing uh, with the way companies are trying to keep the things together, like the company I work for, uh, the systems that are in place to make sure the actors are paid on time, uh, the crew is paid on time, everyone is working together well. And uh, a lot of people have been helped, mm -hmm. especially with uh, the series that we're currently doing. Uh, there's a lot, uh, whenever we have meetings, there's a lot of feedback from actors and crew of how, if this was not there at this particular time, how their lives would have been. There's even photo, photo, photographs for how my life was and how my life is mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Things like that give us the drive to continue. To continue to with do what, what you do. And it's so see, unfortunate that yeah. we're talking about big words like stigma. Yes. For something that makes us laugh every day. Yes. I mean, you get into the house, you mm -hmm. switch on your TV and mm -hmm. it helps you unwind. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a CEO, yes. even if you're a doctor, no matter who you are and what you're doing, mm -hmm. it is film that helps you calm down. It is there you draw ideas. Yeah. It is there you draw inspiration to do what you do. Mm -hmm. So it is only fair that we support mm -hmm. in the little way that we can. Let's talk about the quality vis-a-vis, mm -hmm. -vis, you know, the, the kind of investment that is needed. You, earlier we were having a conversation about comparing even ourselves to the far that the likes of Hollywood have mm. gone in terms of the timing that they put, the effort that they put, the money that they put in coming up with, uh, you know, their work. As a country, are we there? And, you know, there was a conversation about quality. Yes, we love mm. Kenyan mm. Uh, films, but then you look at it and then there's this issue of quality. Talent is there, but then cool. talk to us about that. Okay, um, maybe I can first of all say that I can uh, reiterate to what the two are saying, mm -hmm. you know. Um, mm -hmm. For a time, you know, <coughs> where I used to live, my neighbor used to ask me, Jamal is a college, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, um, maybe now when they see me, they can say, wow, she's, she's now making a career out of mm -hmm. her life, yeah? yeah? So again, I associate with what they're saying. But uh, bigger than that is that um, I think, one, um, f content producers also have to think of um, opportunities, of uh, thinking how else can I make money out of my career? And what am I speaking about? Um, I've been fortunate to go to Cannes Film Festival and actually see how the industry is just making crazy money out of it. And, and, and simple things like having a set. You know, it, it could be somebody just deciding, guess what? There is no place in Kenya that you can go in and get a full set, you know, a house and everything else. Mm -hmm. So you decide this is what I'm going, I'm going to specialize on sets. You know, there are people who are making career in terms of just, you know, fashion and design for filmmakers. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's so many other things within the film, apart from just acting and being an Special actress that, yes. Makeup. Special effects, makeup and everything else. Mm -hmm. And when I see these little branches growing, I keep on saying, yes, the industry is refining itself. Um, when you talk about quality, I always tell myself, um, look at it 10 years ago when we used to say quality of Kenyan music. You know, mm -hmm. we used to make a lot of noise about that. Mm -hmm. And look at where we are. Mm -hmm. So I think the industry, this is where we are. We have to do a lot of mishmash. And then two, three years down the line, you begin to see that change. But for, for, for us guys is that we have to embrace that quality that is coming out. Mm -hmm. It's not the best. It's not Hollywood. It's not that that we aspire yeah. to be. Mm -hmm. But the fact that people are striving to get there is, is one plus. Mm -hmm. And like, for me, I keep on saying, like he's saying, so in Juni, people are watching it. Yeah. That's a good thing, is mm -hmm. that that means yeah, demand will be there. So give um, season two or three of Sue and Juni, it will be much, much better. Auntie Boss and all those other shows, isn't mm -hmm. it? So Mshamba. Mshamba and everything <laughs> else. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be quick to uh, beat us down in terms of uh, the quality. It's just that saying, where music was 10, 15 years ago is mm -hmm. not where it is. So it's the same thing, film will grow. But the question would be to every other filmmaker is that, uh, are you able to see a niche market within the industry? Mm -hmm. That's the most important. Mm -hmm. If you're so good in scripting, are you just going to be that and then leave the others to do it? Do not be a jack of all trades. No, no, yeah, that's you a can't. Challenge, it's, right? it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. And we, that's, that's where we're going wrong is that you're the producer, you're the director, you're I mean, it can't You're happen. You're also acting. You're also <laughs> acting. It can't happen. <laughs> and then also yeah. a lesson that we borrowed um, from, from Cannes Film Festival at a personal level is that uh, for me, just watching a premiere of a film there was exciting. It was just beyond this world. And just, um, I was fortunate to be in the same set with Megan Ryan, you know, and, and you're like, mm, okay, wow. sh she's around, she's around. Mm -hmm. So again, if we're able to pull that kind of, you know, glitz and glamour to film premieres, that could be a one way, mm. isn't, isn't it? And mm. then everybody else can be able to benefit. It's about branding and everything else. And of course, lastly, is that um, 
we need to have maybe marketers within our production teams so that I want to do a film and I want to talk about KWS and I want to talk about Kenya Airways. Do I have somebody who can connect me? Do I have somebody who can pitch to Kenya Airways so that they can see the value add? Mm. Do I have somebody who can talk to the National Museum they can see the value add? Because most of the times we are so caught up writing the script and producing it that we forget where the market is. So if you're able to have that kind of person within the crew setup, I think it gives it a better perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, on that note, one would ask, how did you come about the nomination list? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is, because there are so many people out there and they're asking, okay, so this, the, 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 the guys have already been nominated, so what happens to us? How was that process done? And what are some of the things that were being considered? Was okay. quality one of them? Yeah. Of course, quality was one of them. And yeah. like I said earlier, it's, a, it's upon the nomination academy. For us guys as a commission, okay. we don't really interfere okay. with, the, what, the, what with the jury, what they're okay. doing. But um, I would also be able to tell Kenyans out there, if you're doubting the quality, our, you, you're most welcome to come to our office and see what has come out of this um, nomination. Mm -hmm. Everything is amazing. Um, we were in Nanyuki, and when we finished screening, you know, they said, no, we need to, to see the rest. That is, that is what we're talking about, the quality. Mm -hmm. So in terms of um, vision and in terms of what the jury did, I wouldn't be here to question them because of course they're part of the industry. It's just that to say that we need to appreciate what has been offered to the industry right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, because mm -hmm. quality has gone up. Has gone up. Yeah. Martin, how, how, do, how will this change, you know, for people who are in the industry like you, having opportunities like the Kalashi International Awards and other opportunities that have come for, for guys, how will this be like a game changer in this industry? What opportunities does platforms like this provide for actors, for producers, for editors okay. going forward? Um, I have once said that uh, film and TV is a vanity industry. Mm -hmm. I call it so because it is out of the acceptance and or appreciation of our work that we get more work. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is only by people sitting down and watching and liking what they've watched and then coming back again. So it is our job to please people. Vanity. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that part on the back is okay. um, the, unfortunately, most important thing mm. for a performing artist, for a producer, for a director, mm. for anyone in this industry. Mm. That part on the back, after struggling with budgets, after mm. struggling with broadcasters, after all the struggles that you've gone through, the part on the back first, which is what Kalash is offering. Unless they're offering checks this time <laughs> round, which I don't mind. Yeah, the anyway, goodies are there. Conversation for like later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the goodie bag, what do we have? <laughs> yes, so that part on the back is very... <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> that part on the back is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, that part on the, on the back is what will give you the energy to go on to your next project. And mm -hmm. hopefully, because of the part on the back you got, Somebody will say, oh, somebody gave you a pat on the back. Let me give you money mm. okay. so that you can now go with money and a pat on the back. Okay. Yes. So at least that is one thing that will help in uh, the advancement of, mm. the, of the scene to an industry. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and of course, other opportunities like the Kalasha market. Yes. You yes. get to mingle with other you yes. know, international people mm. and you can use your networks mm. and, and you build something. Uh, you. Your network is your network, yes. you know, they mm. say in this <laughs> industry. Mm. Yes. yes. Mm. But then again, um, talk to us, uh, Isaac, in terms of the stories that we tell. Mm. You know, do you, do you think we are telling the Kenyan story, like representing but what we watch? That if you watch Niger mm. movies, mm. you'd mm. see Nigeria. Mm. You'd see this mm. is how they live. Mm. This is their culture. This is what they eat. Yeah. Uh, pounded yam and all those things. Mm. I'm not a fan of missing me. Ah, too late. <laughs> <laughs> we can already see you are a Explain too much. Explain too much. Yes, you'd see Nigeria. You'd yeah. see Ghana. Yeah. Do you think Kenya is telling uh, the story of Kenya by what we produce? And talk to us even if you compare with the kind of um. impact we have with the Western culture? Okay, uh, I'd say for a fact, uh, film is not our culture. Mm -hmm. Film as film, it's a borrowed culture. But storytelling, that's our culture. Yes. Uh, right now, uh, it being not our culture, we learned how to do films. And how do you learn? You imitate your teacher. If my teacher says Ara, I say Ara. 
She mm -hmm. says three, I say three. Mm -hmm. So when I'm, three, when I get yeah, when three. I get more exposure, yes. ah, it's actually three. It's not three. <laughs> uh, it's actually R, not R. Okay. You know. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where our industry is headed right now. Mm -hmm. Because we started off by knowing that, that good films are films where people are twanging, uh, people are uh, driving big cars, mm. people are living in big houses. So, mm. Now that's a good film. Now if you give me a film in Akijiji, ah, now what did this what guy is shoot? Mm -hmm. You know, this is a bad film. But that's our Kenyan story. And now we, turn, we thank God for the local programming. Mm -mm. You're saying that Kenyan story is not big cars and <laughs> big houses. <laughs> what <laughs> are you <laughs> saying? I'm, I'm saying? I'm saying that the Kenyan? You know, like, okay. If I got you clearly, you're saying yeah. if you shoot a movie in a Kijiji somewhere, people ask, what is that you're shooting? Yeah, that, that, that is then. our Kenyan that story. Was that was then. That was then. Oh, yes. That's what I'm saying. That was then. <laughs> then we believe that film uh, was supposed to be shot in big houses. That's okay. Me, uh, okay. From the influence of Kina Days of Our Lives, Kina... Uh, neighbors. Neighbors. Yeah. Home yeah. Home and away. When people didn't have mobile phones, but wow. you see someone walking, <laughs> see someone walking with a phone. That's exactly. a good film. Wow. But when you come here, we, but now we tend to appreciate our local films because we are exposed to local content, okay. and like they were that. selling. I like that. When when we mm -hmm. got exposed to the likes of Papa Shirandula, the, the first people who did these local shows, and they got a burst of viewership, mm. and now we're like, okay, I think now we appreciate our local stories. When we see Niger movies and they burst because people are in their culture, people are doing mm, their cultural yeah, things, themselves. and mm. you feel like you appreciate these things, and that's where we're headed right now as an industry, mm -hmm. as a well, as a scene. I'm sorry, that's where we're <laughs> we headed to an industry. Yeah, we're, we're, trying, headed. we're trying to become <laughs> an industry as, as a scene mm -hmm. because right now, uh, even from look at Swenjuni, look at Jala Five Star, mm. look at Keru, look at all these films right now. Mm. People are appreciating these films at a primary level because they affect them at a primary level, mm. and now we've seen love is no longer. Love for film is no longer uh, di dictated by the Western world. Now we tend to yeah, love films at a primary stories. level, yes. Wow. And now I think even producers, actors, and scriptwriters are headed to that direction, mm. which is a really good thing, and which uh, we, we really hope we get sufficient support for that. For me, also to them, is that I'm, I'm hoping that next time, uh, Martin, mm. you should have premiered one of those big films mm. and we have it on Kalasha. That's a, that's a challenge I'm throwing out to you. Yeah. Uh, but, yes, but not, not just acting, <laughs> but directing. Actually, um, I, you might not be aware or you might be aware. <laughs> <laughs> I have two films that I directed that are actually nominated, uh -huh. um, okay. which uh, um, one has not yet premiered. They're both short films though. Okay. Um, which uh, one is an, a local language film, it's called Oyo Ni Mori Wo, mm -hmm. uh, or Is This Your Daughter? And another one is uh, Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope mm -hmm. has uh, two nominations, Best Actress and uh, Best Short Film, and Oyo Ni Mori Wo has four nominations, Best Short Film, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress, and the Best Local Language Film. Mm -hmm. So um, the other aspect um, that um, the directing and or producing of films bring about is uh, the the burst also of, uh, which currently is happening, is a burst of the short films, mm -hmm. because um, that is where you get to practice your directing, mm -hmm. that is where you get to practice your storytelling mm -hmm. as a filmmaker, and then that is where you get to practice budgeting, where you realize uh, budgeting for a feature film mm, is no joke, it's no joke, it's no joke. So there is that growth. Before we couldn't be talking about short films. Mm. We're only talking about TV. Mm. Mm. And if it's a film, it has to be a feature film. Mm. But then you realize, no, you don't have to start there. If the story, if you have a sweet story that you can tell, and you can tell with it, it within five to 30 minutes, just tell it. Assume you're doing a TV show, take your two or three days, but now shoot it as a film because shooting style for TV and shooting style for, okay, those are details, mm. but shooting for TV and shooting for film, those, <laughs> those, those are, are very different. different. Those different are very, very different, but okay. they are elements that are um, almost the same. Mm -hmm. But that burst of short films leading to feature films, which will now lead to even big budget blockbuster films, are what will help us mm -hmm. as... Uh, what is currently mm -hmm. sellable? If you assess the market, what is what are people demanding? Currently, currently, <laughs> local content for local, local people. Mm -hmm. Yes, currently, okay. you tell our stories the way our stories are. 
that is sad. If you can throw in the local dialect in there. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. yes. Look at you know, so for, for producers who are watching. Be, be, be as local as possible. Look at Jela Five Star. Yeah, be as local as possible. It's very what is trending. To the Mwananchi mm. as much as you can. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Don't be effortless with it. Mm. Just be careful with it. Mm. Okay. That okay. That's for all producers out there yeah. who are asking, mm. what's my next project mm -hmm. going to be? Mm. They are sharing with us this morning that currently local is what is the way to go. Mm. Just be yourself. Be Kenya. Mm. Write the Kenyan story to the Kenyan people yes. the best way you can. Yes. We've come up, uh, to the end of our conversation, but the, I'll not leave before giving you an opportunity to give us your final words. I'll start with you, Martin, then Isaac, then Caroline. Okay. I'd like to talk to the young and budding talent talented Kenyans out there who would want to join the film industry or act as an actor or whichever, uh, because there are very many opportunities in this industry. If you want to be an actor, um, attend as many auditions as possible. Personally, I have attended enough, rejected more times than <laughs> I have been accepted, mm -hmm. and uh, here I am, seated here, interviewing and talking to you about mm -hmm. acting. Exactly. If you want to be a writer, start writing. Just start writing, because practice makes perfect. The first script you'll write, you'll realize will not be the same as the 10th script you'll write. Probably that's the, f the first script you'll submit, or it's the 10th script you'll submit, mm -hmm. but keep writing. If you want to direct, read as much and watch as many films as possible. Expose yourself to all the elements of the industry. If you want to be a professional makeup artist, same thing. Practice, practice makes perfect. Thank you and so And then, much. Omba sana. Yeah. Ukubalike. Mm. In industry ya kukubaliwa. Kukubaliwa. Isaac, your final word. Um, uh, I, uh, I wouldn't want to sound redundant. Uh, he's said uh, enough. And what I'd just add is just uh, your, your mental setup as a person. Uh, if you want to join this industry, you just have to come with a perseverant mental setup. Mm. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of stigma. There's a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of judgment. Uh, but you just need to come in knowing what you want to do and going for it by the neck. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what you need to do in this industry because it's tough. Mm -hmm. It's tough. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, despite, all the, <laughs> the, despite all the echoes, just forge ahead. But it's fulfilling. Uh, it's fulfilling. Yes, yes. Yeah. And just to add on yes. to that, it's because of that <laughs> perseverance. Yes. For example, that... Mm -hmm. If, they, if people see you know what you're doing mm -hmm. yeah. and you're consistent on what you're doing, mm. itakubalika. Yeah. If, the, if the product will speak for itself, because mm -hmm. right now my mom is seated at home mm -hmm. watching where I have gotten to yeah. right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I remember the fight that we had back then, mm -hmm. yeah. and if I chose not to, to be perseverant mm. to you my parents, to yeah. my parents, mm -hmm. first to my parents, and then <laughs> there is the whole of Kenya. Yes. Yeah? First my parents, <laughs> I really wouldn't be here. Because yes. the first <laughs> have been a very difficult <laughs> conversation. The first and reaction, we've run out of time there. Is Your final words, Kalash. Yeah. And talk to us about Kalash. It's a knife, like, yes, of course, knife. Um, Th for the industry, it's glitz and glamour. Mm -hmm. It's the day that we pat you on the back and yes. say thank you for doing this. But also we look forward to a lot of uh, partnership, especially with the Kalasha market happening in March and we'll share more details. But bigger than that, to the Kenyan people, thank you so much mm -hmm. for just the effort of just coming and telling us, you know what, keep it up, keep mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, uh, when you hear that kind of phone call, it makes you day. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much for your time, all mm -hmm. of you. Thank you for watching Good Morning Kenya. Uh, we meet here tomorrow bright and early for another edition of GMK Entertainment Thursday. It will be, we've really learned a lot concerning our Kenyan film industry or scene, depending on how you look at it. Let's all support <laughs> this particular scene to make it an industry and let us grow to the level where internationally we are a force to reckon with. My name is Safina Ching on behalf of the entire production crew. Have a lovely day.